it's an incredible piece of love. So, of course, as I'm pretty sure you know, today's lesson is going to be about not making any strange image. Now, there are many ways that you can make a strange image. Making, uh, I'm sorry, not a strange image. Making a, a, uh, mind don't feel me now. Making a graven image. There we go. Now, a graven image is many things. A graven image could be a photo picture of your mom or dad or a family member, a painting. Even your calendar is a problem because they put these pictures on them. Um, your picture, uh, graven images of things, you know, it's a, and if you have a certificate or something like that, I would advise, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, have it framed, you know, I think that'd be a bad idea. So the best thing I say is that I wouldn't do that. Hanging pictures on the wall the deals on LG is also not, are unbelievable during LG days. not a good idea. So I wouldn't hang any pictures on the wall. All right. So first, we're going to come from an older book. It is a Bible. Okay. And it's, uh, I'll show it to you. Right there. It doesn't have a New Testament in it, so I'll use my phone for the New Testament. Uh, the New Testament touches on some things that you need to, I'm pretty sure Raptor News had to, had to pull some of those out of that book too. Uh, but the Old Testament is where we're supposed to be doing things, right? So I want everybody to turn. I'm pretty sure I'll say pretty much if you got a King James it should be because you're not going to have everything this may have but you should have at least most of it um, so we're going to go like I said Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 so let's we'll start there thou shalt not make unto thee a graven image nor any man of likeness you hear that of anything that is in heaven above so don't make any given images and don't make any images of anything that is in the sky above okay now people knew what they were back then today they just tell you they're stars but people don't realize those are falling ones okay or that is in the earth. See that? So pictures, uh, a lot of stuff you really don't need to be doing. Beneath or that is in the water. So don't make anything that's beneath the earth a picture of or a picture of anything that's in the water. Don't sculpt it. It's how they, how they sculpt these glasses of, uh, uh, um, you know, regular vase is one thing, but then they, they have fish vase uh, uh, all these animal faces or pencil holders and stuff like that that is you can't be doing that okay under the earth okay the fallen ones that live in the earth okay don't do that don't make pictures of them thou shalt not bow bow down thou shalt not bow down unto them because if you make grab an image of those things and you bow down unto it you'll also be bowing down Unto the fallen one, it's, it's a symbol, okay? And you should not be doing that. Um, and then you basically you worship that devil, okay? Nor serve them. And by bowing it down, that means you have served them. For I, the creator, thy creator, so you gotta skip the L word because it's pagan. The GOD's pagan too, so you gotta say creator. I'm a, okay. Now the creators are not jealous, but the creator don't take no mess okay and he's not the creator I'm sorry the creator is not gonna sit there 
See, the creator will use nature. The creator will use the elements, which you actually would call nature, which is us energy. Everything's energy. If you really want to get down to it, negative and positive energy. All right? We get down to it. All right? So, give me vexing. All right? The father upon, and see, upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them. So if you do this, okay, why? Thou hate me. That's what the creator says. So if you bow down to the devil, you go with these religions, you don't get out of a religious mind, then you are bound, you're going to basically, you're still not all the way what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Ye shall make you no idol, neither shall ye rear up you up. No, don't get mad. A graven image. You don't and don't make one. Or a pillar. Don't make a pillar of an image with on it. Neither, which is like a stone type thing. Neither shall ye place any uh thing stone. So don't make them out of stone in your land. Period. To bow down unto it for I am the creator, your creator, ye shall. See, I, I skipped those L and G words because they're pagan. Okay, shall keep my Sabbaths. Now, here's the thing. We had a forever Sabbath before they came. So every single second, every single day, period, which was always daytime anyway, so there was no night, was for the creator, your whole entire life. And you're going to see that in scriptures that come out a little further. And... Because you're gonna, you'll see, I'll point it out. And reverse my sanctuary. I am your creator, okay? If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments. So, of course, you know not to kill still, okay? There are commandments you ain't supposed to be doing, but don't fall into that trap where everybody starts doing all these other things thinking they serving you know the creator <laughs> not going to Saturday the Saturday and Sunday Sabbath and those Sabbath is for the devil not realizing that listen you're not realizing a lot, a lot of things let me just put it that way okay and because it's for the devil if you do the, if you're doing the wrong ones so like how they have these feast days and the creator hates your feast days not just your holidays Okay, and do them, then I will give your at the rains and the season, and the land shall yield uh, her produce, and the trees of the field shall yield for few, and your treasuries shall reach unto the Vintage, I don't even know what it means. Okay, and the uh, vintage shall reach unto the swelling tide, and ye shall eat your bread until ye have enough. If you keep eating, it's going to tell you, you know, matter of fact, let's go a little further because this is good right here, matter of fact. So you want to go, I know I read more than I was participating on that, but that's all right. Okay, I am, uh, go to 13. I am the creator, your creator, who brought you forth unto the land of Egypt, that ye shall not be there. Okay, bondman, which is a slave, and I have broken the bars of your yoke, and may you go upright. Okay, now on the 12th, we're going to go back just a second. I will walk among you and will be your creator. Now, it's a walk among, and it means by flesh and feet. It means that it's in, it's in you, and ye shall be my people. Okay? Let me see. All right, let's go a little forward. If you read that whole particular chapter, you find more out. I'm just trying to help with the video because, you know, we get crunched time in the videos. Joshua, okay, chapter 
24, and we're on verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve, okay, the Creator chose you, choose you this day, who ye will serve, whether the Creator with your father, sir, that were beyond the river? Or, we do like the evil ancestors, watch this, or the lowercase pretenders of the Amorites and the whole lands ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve only the creator what you're supposed to be doing right serving the creator realizing it's in you all right all right remember then okay sorry i gotta hurry up and do this ecclesiastics you know we're in verse uh, chapter 12 number one remember then thy creator and the days of thy youth remember your creator in the days of youth, before the evil days come. Because you're going to need it when the evil days come, about to get real ugly. And the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When the years draw nigh, and your people start to wake up, because they realize there's no pleasure in these things, right? And they realize that it's all BS, the whole hoodwink thing that they pulled on people, right? So you won't be doing that anymore. You won't be trying to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the King James Version real quick for y'all. All right. So, and you will have less interest if you keep your creator like you're supposed to. You start realizing everything in the earth is just vanity. It's all BS. And what's the point of that? You know, that's a, a waste of time, isn't it? Just like a lot of folks don't want to deal with the world now. All right, but in order to get away, all the way away from the world, You have to get to the wilderness. I'm just going to be honest with you as much as possible. Okay. Colossians 3. So we're in chapter 3. We're in chapter 3. We're going to start at 23. We're in that 24. And whosoever ye do, do it heartfully. Okay. As to the creator and not unto men or unto yourself or to your wife, you know what I'm saying? Or to your sister or your brother. Or your buddy, all right? Knowing that of the Creator ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Creator, all right? Now they try to sneak the C, Mr. C in there, but we all know that that's pagan, okay? Because, you know, when you actually get it from a book, the book you're supposed to get it from, then you don't see that. But you already know they're gonna try to sneak that in there. Now they try to put that in there, but we all know it's only about Mr. It's only about the Creator, and Mr. C was nothing but the devil. Straight up, if you don't like it, oh well, it's facts. I don't know what to tell you. So, like I said, let's go to Romans. Romans, and we're gonna go to chapter one. And we're going to start at the 25th verse. You ready? Who changed the truth? The Gentiles and the devil of the creator unto a lie. The Gentiles and the devil and worshipped and served what? The creator more than the creator. Okay? Who is blessed of course, well, who is perfect forever, okay? Now, they stick, they stick the AMN and that's pegging the BL. 
is pegging. That's why I started back. All right. Now, he's telling you in the Romans, you serve those fallen ones or you serve me. Who changed that bullshit to change it and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm supposed to come down as a man and all this bullshit and then walk among you and then y'all going to think I'm the most high when I'm not sitting up here coming down among you because I'm already in you. None but the damn devil. So the creator ain't going to sit there and do that. All right? People forget the scriptures where the devil, unfortunately, for a lot of people, once the creator say what the creator said as far as what the devil could do, even though the creator stored a good portion of the devil's army, oh, they playing games. They only want me to get this one. That's okay. Oh, you know why? I got it. I'm going to go just like that. Watch this. They want me to get it. Here we go. See how they tried that? Okay. So, let's read all the way down. Let's scroll down because we're going to go all the way down to Matthew 6. That's your King James uh, New Testament stuff. But here you're going to see. Watch this. So verse 24, all right, we're going to start there on Matthew 6. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the creator and someone else, okay? You either serve the creator or you don't. The creator is not going to go for the shenanigans. The creator is not going to go for uh, you want to serve the devil. If you want to serve the devil, I'll give you right over to the devil. Because that's obviously what you wanted. So we go to Matthew 15, verse 9. But in vain, this is what Mr. J said, Mr. C, the one y'all serve Christians and all you boss who in these camps said all these names, but in vain they do worship me. That's what Mr. J said, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Who said that? Mr. J told you straight up, y'all are doing the commandments of men. Why? Because you've been tricked. They told you to serve someone, right? Matt, let's go. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me back up some. We need to get Mark. Everybody go to Mark. Go to Mark uh, chapter 7. And when you get to chapter 7, you want to go to verse 7. So here we go. All right. Mark chapter 7. Let's go all the way down to verse 7. Okay. How be it in vain do they worship me? This is Mr. J, Mr. C, all those names y'all calling. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. So y'all were doing man's doctrine. And because of that, y'all going to be in trouble if y'all keep it up. So it's best that you need to stop it and don't do it. And get to the creator, only repent for what you have done, and get to the creator, man. Stop the BS. All praise to our creator, who's not flesh, who's not a man, who's not a he or she, who is not a physical thing. The creator is in you. Peace and love.